Welcome back to The First Shed. I'm Rich from Trapping Inc. And I've got a little tip today that's got to do with turning, how I like to turn my animals. And when I turn my animals, oh, any of our, our lynx and our coyotes and, and, and uh, long fur and all that all has to be turned. So it means we, we take and dry them flesh out to begin with, and then we turn them. Now, a lot of people wait till everything is dry. You can see this is still soft. His face is soft. That's what I like is his face is soft. But this here, Hear that? That's dry. So now he's formed, okay? He's not going to, to change whatsoever. He's already formed and that's what we wanted. We don't want this to be wet to stick to our board. So now this is when I flip him, when it's the easiest. And it's just a matter of pulling all of our, ouch. Those things sticking to me best of anything, don't they? Pull all these off. It's a little fox I got the other day. Actually, not little. It weighed um, just about 12 pounds, which is pretty good for fox, at least for around here. You can see the skirt is still, his tail is still soft. The drying is not done by any means, but the forming is, okay? It's a distinction. And this is, when we, oh, everybody talks about these being stretching boards, they're forming boards. We want to form for them, right? There, okay. Now, here's something else I do. I always take down really low, when it, whether it's on my lynx, especially lynx, because they have a very large hole here, or, or fox. Now, I'm gonna take and trim these before I turn it over, because it'll, it'll just uh, get in the way once it's inside, right? But it's nice and neat and clean. No tear out. Now, to get them off of here, I just bounce them a couple times. See there, we developed some slack. My general duty spike, which I should patent, they're so useful. Give them a little tug and off he comes, okay? There's our board, we're gonna need this again in a minute. Now, we've all done the turn it over and stuff it back through and, and you pace around and around the shop, I do. <laughs> and. Also done the part where you, you take a, a cable or a, a piece of rope or a string or whatever and you run it up inside. Or run it down inside, whatever you want. And you hook it to their, to their nose using a nail or whatever and then you take it and pull it all the way through. It works, it works. Some people are very proficient at it. I always found myself, especially when it comes to the coyotes, the wolves, the, the lynx, the bigger animals, I always found myself grabbing a broom. Yeah, a broom. Hang on. I'll just reposition the camera. I'll show you what I'm talking about. 